Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and we have a brand new card reveal. I mean, we could have Wizbeg's Workshop without this splendiferous Wizbeg himself. You start the game with one of Wizbeg's experimental decks. We don't know the deck list, but we have descriptions and ideas of what they all will be like. And yes, this card absolutely deserves its own video. So we're gonna go through all the different stuff with the card, review it, and of course, if you wanna win this card or other cards from this expansion, we have a giveaway going on for two regular pre-orders, two mega bundles out of my pocket to enter that giveaway, like and comment in the video, that thumbnail, the video with that thumbnail, it's linked in the description below. Be subscribed to the channel and every thousand subs we get until the expansion cards are revealed, I will add another uh, mega bundle. Sweet, that sub button made me go broke. I've, I've got all this splendiferous hype and whiz bangery going on. And yes, this is the new legendary coming out with a set. And well, what exactly are these experimental decks coming from Wizbang? Well, there will be 12 in total. You'll have a one in 12 chance of rolling any of these decks and each class plus there's an extra one will be represented. Deathlight gets the rainbow deck. This deck has cards from all classes and spell schools. It's a rainbow of all sorts of stuff. So who knows? Again, if it's randomized or just will be set deck lists, I mean, they can't really spoil this stuff ahead of time because they haven't revealed all the cards, but it'll be really fun to find out. We also don't know if it'll be like the other Wizbang, unless they've stated somewhere um, whether these decks will update over time. I would imagine they would. I would imagine that there'll probably be some randomness to it. We have the deck of wishes. I believe this is the Demon Hunter uh, deck where this deck contains three wishes that give you the perfect card. And I believe the wishes have always been like zero mana discover the perfect card like it basically i think it pulls from the zeth pool which is like legacy uh like classic and basic and all that from back in the day i believe i could i could be wrong uh but yeah the deck of wishes we have the deck of discovery this is the druid one your deck is filled with cards that discover druid spells and minions and basically you get a zero mana i guess it'll be like journey to angoro or whatever i guess this is a good thing that steam cleaner isn't sticking around i suppose I uh, discover a druid spell, a druid minion, or a neutral minion you can afford to play. Although this did start in your deck net technically. I'm not sure how that works against the Whizbang deck. But yeah, you'll be able to discover all this stuff and it's you can afford to play. So you'll never uh, basically brick on mana. But sometimes that can be bad where you know you want to get a card to play at future, you know, future turn. But again, that should be a lot of fun. I don't know if these, I mean, Whizbang's never been competitive. I don't imagine it will be. But again, we'll go through all of these. We have the deck of legends, a hunter uh, deck. The deck has two copies of legendaries. Imagine playing a deck where you could play like multiple titans or multiple ignises. Oh wait, you could do that in rogue and priest and druid. But regardless, you get random legendaries, probably double of them. I don't know if they'll have like filled out with other cards, but kind of breaks the rules of traditional Hearthstone, like flat out by being able to deck build with multiple legendaries. We have the deck of wonders, nice throwback for mage where cards in this deck transform into random playable cards each card while in hand and they look like this they're a morphing card each turn this is in your hand transform into a random playable mage or neutral card so pretty casino style and then imagine you get a romath right the romath could recast it although romath is rotating so i guess that'll be more uh for the wild gamers we have this is the neutral one so there's like a neutral deck it's the copycat deck this deck is a copy of your opponent so you get to play a mirror match everybody's favorite thing in hearthstone a mirror match but hey you can access the cards your opponent has maybe you're free to play and you don't have that many cards you can experience what the meta decks are really like out there if you're missing them next with the paladin deck which I'm not sure too much about other than this deck is heroic and we see the league of explorers there so is it going to be like a reno deck it's quite possible or like upgraded stuff upgraded here i don't know who knows we'll find out uh we have the septuplet deck this is the priest deck this deck is seven 
copies of Astral Automaton. So that mech there, and every time you play it, it gets even larger, larger and larger mech. So that could be pretty rad. We have the deck of treasures, the rogue deck, which has five duels treasures in it. And people will be like, what is duels, <laughs> right? Once this expansion's out like a month later, they're deleting duels from the game but it will stay in spirit, at least in like Kazakistan, and it will stay with the deck of treasures. And I don't know if they'll ban any of them or they'll be like a select a pool of duels treasures, but there are some pretty powerful ones out there in a lot, a lot of really bad ones. Uh, we have the Shaman Quest, which brings back my favorite mechanic. Your deck has three quests. Everybody's favorite, the quest led. So I think Shaman has what? The Overload Quest, they have the Murloc Quest, and then they have the uh, battle cry quest. And yeah, you get this at the beginning, one mana, begin three shaman quests. Unless, unless they're different quests than that, because they gotta be specifically built around. I don't know, I guess another thing we will find out unless it's been previewed somewhere. Again, I'm going off of what I got here. Uh, we have the shrunken deck, a warlock deck. This deck only has 20 cards. So maybe you can get to that fatigue game plan a little bit quicker to murder yourself or murder your opponent who knows we'll see how that one plays out and then lastly and most importantly as a as a warrior fan oh this one looks really spicy i want to see what this deck is all about we have the deck of villains this deck is evil so are we gonna see like rafam show up in warrior or who knows so yeah these are all like again these are all the themes of the different decks different decks we haven't had them confirmed yet again that i'm aware of i'll update you guys if i find anything out about it but um competitively is Wizbang gonna be good unless these decks are all like just for some reason overly broken and crazy i doubt it but i think it's in the spirit of the original Wizbang, which was just a really fun card that let players access cards they normally couldn't have couldn't play do a bunch of crazy wild stuff and maybe make a cool like challenge of trying to climb ranks with this card but maybe it's just gonna be busted we'll have to see i'll give it a save two out of five in standard and wild but it's not gonna be some meta dominant insane card but it's it's just great to see his bang back i've wanted it back in the core set forever but you know they got to make their money so they're going to charge you for a new one but at least the new one does look a lot cooler than just deck recipes right that's all the old one was so very excited to try it out and i really do hope that there's a possible you know new whiz bang to legend challenge that could be cool because it was basically impossible with the old one maybe just maybe it'll be possible with this one so that's all the card reveals it was just the one i believe there's no more till next week so we'll be going back to regular scheduled content until then if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends